Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to talk about what we're seeing right now that are leading indications of our housing market so we can gauge which direction we are headed. There's a lot of news out there right now regarding how applications for home loans increase big time due to rates decreasing. So let's uh, talk about this. Uh, this is uh, CNBC just announced on Wednesday, March 13th. It says weekly mortgage demand jumps again as interest rates fall just below 7%. Here's the actual report from the MBA or the uh, Mortgage Bankers Association announced uh, today as well. Uh, this is based on their weekly um, application survey looking at people who are submitting loan applications to refi or to buy houses. Uh, that was That's called their Market Composite Index, uh, which composes of refis plus purchases. That increased by 7.1% compared to one week ago. It also increased by 8% on an unadjusted basis. Meanwhile, the refinance index increased by 12% from last week, but it was also higher uh, from one year ago, up by 5%. Now here's what I'm more focused on. That is the seasonally adjusted purchase index. This is an index which measures the amount of people nationwide who are submitting loan applications to buy houses. That increased by 5% from one week ago, but still down by 11% compared to one year ago. Also, according to the MBA's senior vice president and chief economist, uh, he stated the following, uh, rates dropped below 7% last week for most loan types because of incoming economic data showing a weaker service sector and a less robust job market. With an increase in the unemployment rate, and downward revisions to job growth in prior months. So due to all these factors, we did see a decrease in rates last week. Let's look at uh, daily rates uh, today though, which is on Wednesday, March 13th. According to the uh, Mortgage News Daily, we're at 6.94%. That's if you're putting at least 20% down, you have a great uh, FICO score or credit score. Your average rate nationwide is at 6.94%. One year ago, we were at 6.57%, so a uh, small increase, about 37 basis points. So ever since really the trough, which was more or less mid-December, we have been seeing this increase in rates, but as of late, or as of recent, I should say, rates have been decreasing from about 7.16% uh, about two weeks ago. Now we're sitting at just less than 7%. Also looking over the past five years, rates still remain very much elevated, much higher compared to the 3% rates we saw in 2020 and 2021. Let's also look at daily rates according to Investopedia.com. Um, on that website, their rates tend to be a little bit higher compared to uh, the Mortgage News Daily because they look at a wider range of credit scores down to about 700 to 760 on average. That's why today, the average rate, according to them, is at 7.11%, quite a bit higher compared to other uh, sources. Um, I always talk about how uh, the rates I quote in my videos uh, tend to be the best rates overall, the average uh, best rates overall nationwide. Look at this, uh, though, because uh, this is uh, looking at daily rates according to Google as of yesterday. A loan amount of 300,000, putting 20% down in California. With a credit score over 800, your average rate yesterday, uh, which was on Tuesday, was at just under 7%. Look what happens when I change this, though. This changes to 700 to 719, it increases to 7.5%. FICO score in the range of 640 to 659, it increasing to 8.17%. So if you guys are looking to buy a house, the rate you're gonna get quoted is gonna depend on how much money you're going to put down, but also your credit score as well. Let's get back to the MBA's report though. It says purchase application volume, uh, the amount of applications for home loans to buy houses increased for the week but it remains about 11% below last year's levels. So even though it increased by 5% from the previous week, it's still down by double digits year over year. On top of that, their index, according to investing.com, um, as of uh, March 13th, Wednesday, was at 147.7. 
The lower the number there means that there's a fewer amount of applications for home loans. And it says here the purchase index has proven to be a reliable indicator of impending or future home sales. They also have a really good chart showing how the index has changed over the past several years. Uh, let's look at one year. So over the past three weeks now, or should I say two weeks, the index has been increasing, yet it's still below last year's levels. Look at the five-year chart though. It peaked right around the spring home buying season in 2021. It does have ebbs and flows, but overall, ever since then, especially ever since really uh, the first part of 2022, applications for home loans have been going down big time. In fact, when looking at the levels you saw back in the same time frame in 2019, which is more or less right there, um, application activity to buy houses is down by about 41%. So big picture here, application numbers are still at very low levels, uh, which is implying so far here that home sales will remain at very low levels as well. Let's talk about um, real estate showings across North America though. This is according to showingtime.com. Um, as of, when is this? The week ended March 12th. Uh, there was a increase of 30.4% in the number of real estate showings compared to the first week this year. At this time last year, it increased by 19.7% compared to the first week last year. So overall, uh, real estate showings are increasing, but look at this though. This is um, Google searches for homes for sale. This is pretty wild. Let me just actually zoom out over the past five years because I was playing around with this uh, about an hour ago here. You can see here how the amount of people who are submitting um, searches on Google's for homes for sale have been more or less on a downward trend ever since uh, the spring months of 2021. Right now, we're right down there at very low levels compared to the past five years. Now, looking at the past 12 months here, uh, the interest over time here, much less than the same time frame last year. The index right now at 67, just kind of think of it this way. The higher the number means there's a high level of uh, searches for homes for sale on Google. And of course, a low number means that there's a lack thereof. The index is at 67. One year ago, the index was at 90. So uh, far fewer searches uh, for homes for sale on Google right now. Additionally, here's another report I wanna share with you guys regarding um, consumers overall sentiment regarding our US housing market right now just posted last week. It says home selling sediment moves higher ahead of the spring home buying season. Uh, this is based on Fannie Mae's Home Purchase Sediment Index, a monthly survey they do, and it increased by 2.1 points in February, inching higher for the third consecutive month, due primarily to increased optimism around home selling conditions, not home buying conditions. In February, 65% of consumers who responded to the survey here said it's a good time to sell a house up from 60% last month. The share of those who believe it's a good time to buy uh, ticked up slightly this month, but remains at extremely pessimistic levels at 19%. So only 19% uh, who responded to the survey here said it was a good time to buy a house. Um, by the way, the all-time record low for the survey, which goes back at least 10 years, was set back just a few months ago when the uh, respondents uh, was at only at 14% who believe it was a good time to buy a house. So at 19%, we're still at very low levels and overall uh, extremely pessimistic. And by the way, I just did some digging for you guys. This survey goes back to June of 2010. So very close to all-time record lows. Um, over the past 14 years now. According to Doug Duncan, who is Fannie Mae's Senior Vice President and Chief Economist, he stated the following, consumer attitudes towards home selling conditions increased markedly in February, with current homeowners in particular expressing greater optimism that is a good time to sell a house, a development that may foreshadow an upcoming increase in existing home listings. I would say here, this survey does not uh, necessarily translate to what actually will happen though, right? If you call up a thousand people and ask them about, is it a good time to sell a house? Your answers are gonna vary quite a bit. 
and it's not a necessarily a um, good indication of what actually is going to be happening though. Anyways, it says additionally, Despite the recent uptick in rates, consumers remain relatively optimistic that rates will decrease over the next 12 months. Please leave me a comment below your thoughts regarding that. Do you believe that rates will decrease over the next 12 months? In my personal opinion, I do think they will uh, because inflation is bound to decrease uh, to levels the Fed will be happy with. And because of that, we'll likely see rates decrease over the next 12 months here. They also asked consumers, what are your expectations regarding home prices over the next 12 months? Will they go up, will they go down, or will they be flat? So 42% believe that home prices will increase in the next 12 months, whereas 23% believe that home prices will go down. Also, the share who think that home prices will stay the same decreased from 40% down to 34%. Also, they asked people about job loss concern. Are you concerned about losing your job over the next 12 months? That actually decreased from 82% down to 78%. So overall, people not afraid of losing their jobs in the next 12 months. Okay, let's briefly recap what we just learned so far. And also I'm gonna share, how's this translating to more home sales? So again, applications for home loans increased by 5% from a week ago but still down by a lumber cent from uh, one year ago. And of course, historically low as well. On top of that, rates have been at um, or, or around 7% for quite some time. And of course, this is decreasing new listings, but also decreasing home buying demand uh, more so. Also, real estate showing activity has been increasing compared to the start this year. But again, we're not seeing a huge uptick in people searching for homes for sale has been decreasing ever since really uh, the summer months last year. In addition to that, overall um, optimism regarding our housing market still remains relatively muted, even though it has increased for the past three months in a row. Uh, and meanwhile, only 19% believe it's a good time to buy a house, very low levels, very close to the all-time record lows uh, set a few months ago at 14%. So regarding um, home sales, Again, we're very getting very close to the onset of the spring home buying season. But despite that, home sales are down by 3.5% year over year, lower than 2023, of course, but also lower than 2022 and 2021. Therefore, the amount of home sales uh, is down to about a three-year low during this time frame. In regards to pending home sales, a measure of contracts being signed between buyers and sellers, a leading indication of close home sales in the next one or two months is also at a three-month low or three-year low as well, down 6.4% year over year. In my personal opinion, all the data we have today is supporting my thoughts that we're going to see a very low level of sales, close home sales this year. Keep in mind, last year we had a 28 year low in close home sales on a national level, around 4 million existing home sales. Um, if we have rates um, at or above 7% or very close to that, I would imagine that close home sales this year will remain at very low levels. But what do you guys think will happen? Please leave me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Like and subscribe. Hope you have an awesome day. I appreciate you. We'll see you in the next video.